Hi, 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 Sagittarius. How are you? How are you? Happy September. So glad you found my Island Girl Tarot channel. This is going to... <laughs> I'm trying to make love readings for September. The only thing is it's that's not what the universe has given us. I think out of... I think you're my ninth sign, tenth sign. Um, I've maybe had two or three that were directly love related. Everything else has been health and kids and, I, I don't know, Tarot and the energy and the planets. Uh, have a different message than love for us this month, so I'm I I can't make it into something that it's not. So uh, hopefully you all will be one of the lucky ones that actually have love and romance and marriage possibilities. Um, and with all the alignments and things that are going on, uh, and I'm not an astrologer, I'm just fascinated by it. I highly recommend that you uh, check out Kelly Rosano or the Lion, uh, the Leo King. Um, David Palmer, um, Astrology by Bree, and Astrolata. Any one of those guys are so amazing. And the energies that are out there for the month of September, it is going to be crazy. So, And it all just depends on where in your house, whatever planet's lying in is how it will affect you. So um, for this, though, for Sagittarius, my moon is in Sagittarius. Um, Sagittarius, and that's another thing. Always remember to watch your uh, rising and your moon signs if this doesn't resonate with you. And thank you for your likes, shares, and subscribe, Sag. And all of my info will be in the show more section. If you would like a private reading I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. So for Sagittarius, a love reading, please. And I'm using the Albano uh, weight deck. I switched from the Rider weight. I was too frustrated. <laughs> So I'm hoping you guys will actually get love, Sagittarius love for September, Sagittarius love reading September, Sagittarius love reading September. Sagittarius love reading September. The overall energy is the uh, Eight of Pentacles. Now for me, that's and especially in this deck. That just means again and again and again. So I'm going to bet we're going to have some on-again, off-again relationships here. But let's see what the cards have to say. Two of Wands is the center. <clears throat> interesting, 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 interesting. Um, all right, Sag. Uh, lots of fire in here, too. Um, okay. Right there. It looks like the center of the reading is a decision, and you're making a decision. Um, about how to move forward with a situation, it's going to be a transform, transform, transformative decision that you're going to make. It's going to be one that is. Once the decision's made, everything is going to change, and you're going to end up with your wish card and exactly what it is that you want. Now, uh, let me kind of work backwards a little bit. Um, <clears throat> we have the Seven of Wands with the Temperance Angel and the Queen of Cups. And that, to me, is just a combination of uh, someone having to stand up for herself, uh, uh, but doing it with kindness. You know, if someone's yelling at you, you, everyone knows the one that has the control is the one that doesn't lose their temper. And so uh, I know that, you know, there's fire signs, uh, Leo, uh, Aries, and Sagittarius. And I mean, I know that's, you know, that's, we're all part of that. Um, speaking for me, my moon being in Sag. But, you know, trying to temper that temper uh, is a must, especially if, you know, I just see that you're coming in from a time of calmness in your relationship. And if you're and if you're single, then I believe you're probably going to go on vacation and you may find love. You're almost to the end. If you're not together, you're almost there with someone. Um, it's going to happen. If you're already in a relationship, you guys have got a good relationship. It's just every now and then. One of the two of you has to stand the other one down, you know, back the other one off a little bit and go, you know what, dude, there's two of us in this relationship. Or, you know what, ma'am, I give you everything you want. Sometimes everything is not possible. 
you know, when somebody just has to say no. And, uh, you know, that can be with money, with a, you know, a man, especially if she's at home and there's only one income and there's only so much money and he's in charge of it. Again, you know, asking for the Michael Kors purse, you know, maybe not right now, you know, let's maybe go to a knockoff or something. Um, I'm not advocating that, but I mean something, you know, not a knockoff, but something less expensive. Um, so just everyone needs to remember to temper their temper, be kind to each other. Whatever this energy that you're feeling, Sag, is almost, you're almost to the end of the road with it. You're in a really good place. Uh, you know, you're, you're probably paired, paired with a Pisces, and you guys are living the dream. Um, but it's taking effort. You know, work is there. Um, I really didn't see the on again, off again with the relationship. Um, although maybe uh, it had, you know, it could be that you're with a younger person. Uh, somewhat younger than you and it and, you know paired with this it could be that the relationship did pause and then resume again uh, but you guys have had many obstacles that you had to get over and it could be because of the age difference and there was a decision that had to be made about going through and getting you know if this is a younger person with an older person you know getting both families on board uh, can a lot of times be difficult shall we say and, well, that's good. At least we have love and romance in this. And like I said, the decision that was made was transformative, and, and it ended up uh, resulting in, in the wish that you wanted. Let's, uh, let's look at the um, Doreen Virtue uh, Archangel Power, uh, Power Tarot deck. Such beautiful deck of cards. I love this deck of cards. Let's see, so... Message for Sag for September. Message for Sagittarius for September. Message for Sagittarius for September. There we go. Let's go. Sagittarius. It's number 15, it's decision. Release yourself from that which holds you back and need to detox unnecessary worry on, on a, based on a lack of confidence. And this would equate to the devil card in the uh, traditional tarot deck. Uh, it's a beautiful card. Um, but in this case, as I said, the center of the deck was a decision, and a decision is just made. And it, it was a transformative decision. And, you know, with the temperance card, absolutely, it could mean that someone has decided to quit drinking. Uh, and that brings happiness uh, to all involved. That's, that's absolutely entirely possible. Um, not having gotten the devil card, it doesn't jump out. But with it being um, with the Doreen virtue with the angel message, you know, that's also a possibility as well. But it looks like you've got it conquered and, you know, it transformed your life and now your wish um, is going, you know, is going to be moving forward and you're going to have maybe the opportunity again to get the, the love of your life back. Maybe that's, you know, the repeat card is there uh, for that reason, that you had to quit drinking in order and make the decision to do so in order to gain your family, your love, whomever it was that had turned their back on you. So congratulations, Sag, if that was you, that's that's great. Um, keep up the good work, and if anybody has any questions, uh, by all means, leave me comments. Uh, I appreciate your likes, shares, and subscribes, and I look forward to seeing you back here tomorrow for the Daily Draw. Bye-bye, Sag. Have a great day.